Then. David, the doctor's right, ready for you now. Well, Mr. Bergen, Dr. Lane. So what's wrong with you today? I am very tired. Okay. So how much sleep are you getting? Little to none. Okay. Alright, how long has this been going on? Uh, two weeks or so. Alright. And has your sleep been getting worse? Or yes, definitely. Yeah? Okay, so it hasn't been staying the same? No. Okay. Alright, how old are you? I'm 42. 42. So you had your birthday six weeks ago? Okay. So would you say this is uh, something that happens often in your family? Like, are there is insomnia something that seems to have insomnia? Well, you can't sleep, so I'm going to say probably. Okay. Anyway, do you think is that something that runs your family? Well, now that you speak of it, actually, my mother and my sister both had sleeping problems. Okay. Did those get better for them? Uh, no, they're both dead. Okay. All right. How'd they die? Sort of put it bluntly, but... I'm not really sure. It was kind of unknown. Was it like a car accident, or did they... No, they just slowly... Uh, it might have been from the sleep, I'm not sure. Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to send you in for some genetic testing, okay? Because I think what you have could be the trait that runs in your family, the uh, lack of sleep. Really? Okay. 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 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer you to a specialist. Uh, I'll just get this referral. Specialist? Oh. Specialist, because you're going to a specialist. Okay. Yeah, so you're writing just a little. Bit. Yeah, with my signature was nice, so that's all that is. Okay, well, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Have a good final 18 months. called Fatal Familial Insomnia. Fatal? Yes, fatal. We'll have to perform an autopsy. I don't believe that is... Or we could do genetic testing. What kind of genetic testing? There's carrier testing and diagnostic testing. And what are those? Well, David, diagnostic testing is used to identify or rule out a specific genetic or chromosomal condition. In many cases, genetic testing is used to confirm a diagnosis when a particular condition is suspected based on physical signs and symptoms. Diagnostic testing can be performed before birth or at any time during a person's life, but is not available for all genes or all genetic conditions. The results of a diagnostic test can influence a person's choices about health care and the management of the disorder. Carrier testing is used to identify people who carry one copy of a genetic mutation that, when present in two copies, causes a genetic disorder. This type of testing is offered to individuals who have a family history of genetic disorders <laughs> and to people with certain ethnic groups with an increased risk of specific genetic conditions. If both parents are tested, the test can provide information about a couple's risk of having a child with a genetic condition. So we're going to try those out. Hello, Mr. Bergen. I regret to inform you, you have fatal familial insomnia. You will die in 18 months. What, what is fatal familial insomnia? Fatal familial insomnia is um, a mutation at codon 129 that creates a stop codon instead of a normal codon. It's a prion disease that causes plaque to build around your thalamus, which prevents your brain from entering REM sleep. And that's why you can't sleep.
And how did I get this disease? It is genetic. Okay. Come in! Hi, you must be David. Yeah. Good to meet you. And this young man is? This is Sean, son. Nice to meet you, Sean, his son. I just wanted to explain to you how fatal familial insomnia will affect you and your family, and how your family can help you cope with it. First of all, it seems you've received a disease from your mother. There's a 50% chance of you contracting the disease from one or both of your parents. Likewise, this has a 50% chance of going on to yourself, and a chance for him to give it to his children. Oh no! The disease does not show symptoms until the ages of 30 to 50. Once it develops, you have around 18 months. During 18 months, you'll develop progressive insomnia, ataxia, and dementia. There's no known treatments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you make this process as easy as possible. And I hope I can help you rest peacefully. Thank you. <laughs>